Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Varteta Learning Platform and in today's video we are going to discuss like how we can overload the new and delete operators. Yes, we can overload new and delete operators for our own needs as per our own needs. And uh, when we can overload the new and delete operators then we have two ways to do this. One is global and the other is class by class. So first I will show you that how we can uh, do it globally for any kind of data type. Okay, so I have written the code uh, beforehand so that uh, we cannot, we should not lose any more time. So let me first show you that how we can do it at the global level. So I have written this. So this is the way you can write it. I will uh, provide the code to you in the comment section and I will pin that comment. So you need to write like this void asterisk operator new because uh, this new will return a void pointer and this can be converted to any data type right any point pointer to the data of any data type okay so uh, it's void day strict operator new and then you need to uh, use this data type size underscore t s so this tells you the size of the data type that you are passing here for which you are going to allocate the memory okay so just for the proof that yes we are calling our own uh, new low overloaded operator i have placed this message here see out inside my own new operator and here I have just allocated the memory void asterisk p is equal to malloc s and then return p. Then I have written the delete operator void operator delete and here I have passed the void pointer and then inside the uh, my delete operator I have written this statement just to prove that yes we are reaching here and then I have used the free function. And since I'm using the malloc and free, I need to include this malloc.h, which I have included at the top of the file. Okay, now let us see how we can uh, utilize it. So I'm just going to create one pointer to integer using new int. Okay, now asterisk p is equal to I'm providing the value 100 and then I'm providing the value like I'm just printing it c out e n d l asterisk p and then i'm doing delete p so while calling this operator new int this should print this message inside my own new operator and while deleting it should print this message inside my own delete operator okay so let us run this okay now you can see when i call this new operator using new int then this has printed this message inside my own new operator and then when i uh, call the delete p then it has called this method inside my own delete operator and then in the middle it has printed the value okay so this is the way you can overload your operator for the global perspective okay now we are going to see if we have to overload the operator for the class by class on the class by class basis so i have created this class i have already written the code so that we can save the time so here I have written this class, class test memory. And uh, in this class, what I have done, I have uh, written this void asterisk operator new, and I have taken one variable with name int i. And uh, in the new operator, I have just taken two variables. One is the size of the data type, and the other is the value that I need to provide to this i. Okay. Since we are allocating the memory for test memory, so we are going to create the test memory type of pointer. Test memory asterisk p mem is equal to test memory. You need to, you need to uh, typecast it because malloc returns a void pointer. So that is why you need to use this test memory asterisk so that it can be typecasted properly to test memory. Uh, and then I have provided this value p mem to i is equal to i and then I have returned this p mem. Okay, so this is the way we can use it. And uh, when I will use it, you will be able to see that, yes, I have got a memory allocated for test memory class. And then the uh, delete operator for the class and uh, these messages I have placed just for the same purpose, just to show that, yes, uh, we are using the, uh, we are using our own uh, new and delete operators rather than using the standard one provided by the C++. And then here I have printed the value of the I, right, so that we can see the proof okay now let me do this asterisk p mem is equal to new then you need to provide the value we i want to provide the value 200 to my variable i and size will be of the size of test memory 
So I am allocating the memory for test memory. So it will not call the uh, new operator which has been provided by the C++ standard library. It will call the operator new from my own class that I have written. Now pmem to print val. This will print the value just for the proof that yes we have provided the correct value and then delete pmem and when we will call this delete pmem this will be called and it will print the message like inside my own delete operator let me put it like class let me put it like class okay now let us see what happens so for the time being let me just comment this part so that we can only see related to the class based execution of the program okay so let's run this yes now you can see so i think you have understood now how to overload these operators on the global as well as the class by class basis so this was a very important concept that you must need to uh, understand and uh, this is most of the times asked in the interview questions so please be attentive and uh, please uh, do it yourself so that you are sure like how to implement it Thank you. Have a nice day and bye-bye. And please don't uh, forget to like my video and share my videos and subscribe my channel, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.